Hi lovely souls, my name is Samantha James. Welcome to my channel. I just wanna start off by saying Happy New Year. Congratulations everyone, you guys made it. I am so, so proud of you. This reading is so, so needed. This is gonna be a 2021 prediction. So what's happening with money and career? What's just happening in your overall life path? What is your destiny for this year of 2021? And I will have another video where I go over just specific love predictions for 2021 so definitely look out for that i just want to say if you guys are new here my name is samantha james i'm a psychic medium i specialize in 18 plus pick a cards and i go live twice a week so if you're interested in a quick little question make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified when i go live and do some live reading deck pulls and you can get some questions answered but for this one in particular we are doing a 2021 prediction so this is going to be very lengthy and detailed detailed and all-encompassing because I really feel like this is needed and I am a little delayed as far as getting this video out there. So with that said, if you are new to pick a card, so what you're going to do is pause the video and figure out whichever pile or crystal you're drawn to the most. Go down below in the description box, find your timestamp, and I will see you all at your reading. Hello, group number one. If you chose this crystal and if you've been following me for a while, we've been over. I found this on the beach somewhere and that's all I know. Each crystal has its own little time and place and meaning and this one doesn't necessarily have like a crystal name, but it's special to me. So group number one, this is for you. You're also special to me. So I guess that is how it works. Okay, so your 2021 prediction. I hope you guys are cozy right now and got your tea or coffee or whatever it is y'all drink um, because this is going to be a lengthy little pick a card. I just want to go over everything and instead of having an extended version, I just want to put it all in this video and we're just going to pull lots of cards and figure out what's going on. Mind, body, soul, spiritual, physical, manifestations. What's happening? What is your destiny? Because I don't know about y'all, but this has been a rough beginning and start to a new year so we're really kind of I feel like we're all on edge like oh is it gonna be bad is it is it another 2020 so let's look into it let's start with your tarot cards now when I was shuffling for this pile this is how I knew that I had to do a lengthy video because there is just there is some of you out there that I'm about to read for that just need to hear this so definitely get cozy and relax you guys I'm gonna help try and solve some of your problems okay so to start, we have the hangman in reverse. So I feel like this energy, hangman, just in general, is a good, is it not a good, but a good sum of the energy that you guys must be feeling right now. Hangman. But we have that in reverse. So good news is not going to last forever. I know it feels like that, but it's not. Okay. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. I thought this was interesting because some of the energy I'm picking up is this is also probably in the upright um, financially and having to do with your career path. Maybe some of you guys lost your job because of COVID or you got sick or you're just trying to act like you have it all together. Maybe some of you guys have some big transitional plans. You're in the middle of a transformation. Just a lot is going on, right? And it's really hard to keep it together. I really relate to this pile. But I see this in reverse. So I see that you guys are not going to topple over the way that you think you are. I think you guys are doing this little balancing act with your pentacles. And you're literally like, oh my god, I'm going to topple over. This is going to snowball and I'm going to drown. And this is like, I feel like for some of you guys, we're having some negative thinking. Now, not that like that's a problem because it's so human, but just know that I'm aware as a reader that some of you guys are dealing with negative thoughts and because I'm aware of that it's it's my turn to say that your thoughts are not you they don't define you so some of the thoughts that you might be having right now group number one might be very negative discard them do your best you know consciously to just be like you know what that doesn't serve me I don't need to think like that because I feel like some of you guys are about to be in sort of a doomsday sort of energy here um, but, you know, the good news is opportunities coming in for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. It's taking a while. I can see that. I can see that for some of you, shit has hit the fan a little bit already. And you guys are kind of like starting to lose hope, lose grasp. You're feeling very unproductive. You're not feeling like you're going in the right direction. There's just this energy of like, what the fuck is going on, right? 
And for some of you, you're looking for opportunity in specific to your career, or to your money. You're looking for ways to solve these problems and to help yourself out. And I do see that coming for you. Now, I do want to say up front that it is going to take a while. Um, for some reason, there's some stuck energy and in, in the Oracle will figure it out and pull some more cards, but there's some sort of stagnation. I know that you guys feel it. I just don't know if you guys know how to get out of it. And sometimes when you're in it and I feel this personally, like I don't, don't think that I'm high and mighty cause I'm reading your cards. Like I, I've been through the same thing where I'm like just a spiritual and stuff and aware of manifesting, but I get in this stuck energy, the stagnation, and I feel really just shitty and unproductive and scared and fearful. And then all the other, it snowballs, all the other like negative effects. Like you're not supposed to live with fear, you know, that's negative. You're not supposed to live with negative thought patterns. That's negative. And it, it doesn't help your manifestation. So it's hard to like stop something as it soon starts to hit, if that makes sense. Um, I hope I'm making sense by the way. I'm, I'm feel like this is a very complex issue um, but I'm gonna take my time with this because I think you guys need help with this issue just to look outside of your own perspective okay so <clears throat> bear with me there is quite a bit reading more to go and then we have this fool which I think is really really gorgeous because for some of you as I stated earlier you're in some sort of transitional phase. Some of you are starting a new job or maybe you're trying to find a new job, a new destiny, a new path, moving. You know, it's a new year, new resolutions, new, let's not repeat last year. You're just trying to start something fresh, something new, right? And all the signs that you have so far are just like weird and not cool and, and not leading anywhere. And you're not seeing this opportunity that's supposedly coming in. And, and you're just really like painstaking with these thoughts and um those thoughts are leading to more thoughts and to stuck energy and to f just freezing just not wanting to take a move forward right and so what spirit is really recommending for you guys is that to recognize the situation as a divine test okay this is not necessarily just like oh god is punishing you although it might really fucking feel like it this is more of an obstacle and you're supposed to get through it and part of that obstacle and this is what it is <clears throat> is to leap forward on faith and faith alone not leap forward because you have a bunch of money in the bank and you know you'll be comfortable not leap forward because you're supposed to do this this and that and check all your boxes you've been trying to check your boxes you've been trying to get that money and you've been trying to do certain things and you're not moving forward and it's pushing you back and pushing you back and pushing you back and you're like holy fucking shit and it's because you want the tactical group number one. It's because you want the logical, the rationale. You, you don't want to just leap forward on faith and trust that the universe and spirit and the angels and guides and all above and below has your back. That's actually really hard for you guys to believe right now. Because you're in this practical mindset, because you're covered, coveted by reality and who can blame us? Like we're conditioned to believe that, hey, this, you know, if I can touch it and feel it, it's fucking real. It's there, right? That we can't believe things are interchangeable, that we cannot believe that the 5D has our back. It's so hard when we're in this rock and hard place, right? With this fool energy, it's saying you need to leap forward because that is part of your path. You're not supposed to know what's down there. You're not supposed to know what's in front of you. You're supposed to just go forward because you're at the end of your transformation. Now it's time to make that move. You've been talking about this move. You've been talking about faith. You've been talking about leaping forward. Where is the move? Where is the faith? You've let it go because you can't find that practical first. You can't find that tactical first. Now that tactical is coming, but both are codependent on each other. You know, this Knight of Pentacles is not going to show up until you make this fool. This fool is not going to happen until, you know, you, you, you're not going to get this Knight of Pentacles until you make this move with the fool. So whatever is happening right now that is really hard to balance, hard to move forward with, understand that this is not a permanent state of being. With these two cards in reverse, I do see you moving past that. And I do see you leaping forward. And you know what's on the other side of that? Fulfillment, self-fulfillment, nine of cups. We don't even have 10 of cups. I do see that some of you guys are in a relationship and we'll get to that because I'm holding your other tarot cards here. 
Um, and it's a really good relationship, but I feel like you guys are going through a hard fucking time right now. Maybe it's just as simple as you're broke. You know, I feel it. I get it. Like <laughs> I can't even, there's a lot that I can't do like as a normal getting married person just because of finances, just because of COVID, just because of bullshit. Right. So, you know, and my situation's not even that bad. It can get worse than what I'm at. So I feel it. I feel that there is struggle out there and I feel that group number one, you guys are going through it. Um, but this nine of cups is gorgeous because it's not like you and your, I mean, bear in mind you and your person very well, may be in the 10 of cups right you'll you'll have this and you'll conquer all of what you're going through right now but i just want to note that this is a personal as personal as, as it is to you like it, it might be both of you are going through this right but it's both an individual and spiritual journey personal to you and your own transformation your own destiny as a soul and you are going to find that you are self-fulfilled in the end because you are going to go on yourself and your own faith alone maybe there's a disagreement right now with your person in faith maybe you want to be the spiritual one they want to be the practical one you're like no but let's believe and it will happen and they're like fuck your manifesting or like whatever it is right whatever the situation is group number one i think that stay true to yourself stay true to your soul this is the hardest time when you're going through it to stay true to yourself right it is the hardest time to stay with your your dreams and ambitions when they're not making money it is the hardest thing in the world to plunge forward when you have no fucking certainty what's on the other side are you jumping off a damn cliff willingly or are you you leaping and then gonna fly after you know it is so scary to make these moves when there's so much uncertainty but I think that instead of looking to your person to make this move for you or looking to financial situation to make this move for you or looking to stability or comfort to make this move for you, you just need to make this move on your own between you and spirit and your own soul. The nine of cups, you can trust that this will follow. And the reason that it's the nine and not the 10 is because this is going to mend your spirit and soul you are going to regain your faith i feel like you guys are going to start wishing upon stars again and believing in you know miracles and manifesting and the full moon and maybe some of you guys have walked away from that temporarily okay <clears throat> So it's not all bad though, just having the self-fulfillment because look at this, we have your king of swords here, your, your Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, some of you guys are involved with, they could have this in their chart. We have this gorgeous two of cups in the middle and then we have, you know, your counterpart, who you are, group number one, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I do see a lot of you guys could have either of this in your chart and this is the kind of relationship you're in. But right in the middle, we have the two of cups. So I know that we don't have that 10 of cups, but it's not a focus on your love life. And I will have a video for that group number one. This is a focus on you and your 2021. And this person is a part of your journey and they're noted here and your relationship with one another is about to deepen. With this beautiful two of cups, I just feel like you guys are gonna grow closer together. And you know, I will have a separate video on this, but it's just very clear that this is, this person is in your corner. But you know, I just feel like you need this reminder. I feel like these are things you have to hear. Tarot is not easy. You know, I would, I love escapism. Like 18 plus, hello, hi, tell me about their cock. <laughs> I don't want, to deal with the nitty gritty 5D bullshit that has to do with my soul and the shadow work that follows. I've done enough healing. Healing hurts. It's raw. It's like, ugh, you know, but it's necessary sometimes when we're so close to a situation. In group number one, I feel like you guys are very close to the situation. Now, it's not even your fault that you lost grip. I think things popped off. I think things got fucking difficult really quick and snowballed and began to snowball. And I think that you guys had this spiritual mindset, like I'm going to believe and take a leap of faith and go for it. And then you pump the brakes. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know about all that and it made you question things. I think you also have an Aquarius or Gemini moon in your corner, someone with so much logic and rationale, they just can't, they can't believe in, in, in the spiritual believing and manifesting thing. I think they want to, but I think that's also been in your ear. Now, it's not a bad thing. I think you guys are counterparts. I think this is, you guys are soulmates and, you know, we can always get into that in another video. Um, but I think that it just goes to show like you've had some influences and some fears and they've been dry been a driving force in a lot of this.
now it's time for me, Samantha James, your tarot card reader, to tell you the facts, to tell you what it is. Now, I can't help you with the bills that are owed and need to be paid because I see that for some of you. And I know that's stressing you out. And I know you're like, Sam, this is logistical. It's not just about like, oh, I didn't, I believed in something and didn't happen. It's like, I literally need help. And I get that. I feel you. I see it. But what I can help you with is these blockages that are stagnating the energy and not allowing flow of abundance to come through. Because let's face it, guys, let's face it. When we are doing well and feeling good and up to date with our spirituality, that money just comes in, doesn't it? Everything just comes in. And I feel like you guys are closed off. You know, because so much bad has happened or so much circumstance that is negative has happened, you've like, you went from this blossomed flower to like closing up and you're closing up because you're guarding yourself or you're trying to guard and protect yourself from more negative shit coming your way. And you're closed off because you don't want to receive that negativity. You don't, you, you've had enough, you've done enough, you've been through enough, right? But while closing yourself up like this, you're literally also you know, um, closing yourself off and repelling the good that wants to come your way. So how do you open yourself back up again when you've been through it, when you have these trust issues, when you're questioning your faith? You know, that's a hard question. That's a pressing question. That's that fool energy. It's like, you just, you just fucking do it. You just believe, you just believe, you just jump, you just believe you know, and, and, but the key is not just the jump, but it's just opening yourself up to receiving again, everything all across the board. If it's negative, well, so fucking be it. If it's positive, then yes. And I feel like you guys are so closed off. You don't want to receive anything negative, positive, none of it. Just get out of your way is how you are feeling right now. Um, and I feel like, uh, we need to open that channel up for you. Okay. So let's look at your Oracle cards. So to start, we have the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold like you're on the bridge and it's dark and stormy and it's fucked up right and you're like I can sort of see the light but I can't like I don't I know there should be a light at the end of the tunnel but is there really like you just don't know for a lot of you you know we have this beautiful imagery of butterflies so personal to you it's not even in the king of swords and i'm sorry if you're a king of swords watching this but maybe you have a lot of feminine energy that's untapped that needs that's another way to clear your channel um for receiving to the masculines out there but a lot of the energy i'm seeing is this beautiful butterfly imagery and it's the symbolism of transformation it's it's you are on the ends wits of this transformation just when you thought it was over with you know something happens this is your initiation okay if you can believe in god and spirit and the guides and the divine in this way then you can you have conquered almost everything you can you're going to rise above into this queen of swords energy. Now, you don't even have to be an air sign necessarily. This queen of swords, to me, when I first saw it, just represents your warrior um, energy, your strength, your ability to rise above and demand better for yourself, to not settle for less. Okay, so this just goes to show for me your, your thirst and your just, I want to say, demand to have better. We have pillar of light. So your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. You are the damn oracle, okay? <laughs> You're about to unlock some spiritual gifts in return for this. And I think you are also going to have an improvement of your abundance flow with the Knight of Pentacles. But understand that through this crossing of this threshold through this initiation there is a light now you're wondering is there is there is there and there is through this little once you get through here you get to the other side and there is light this is a beautiful um this is a beautiful representation of what the star card means to me in tarot. It's getting through that darkness so that you can be the light. Now you can teach other people, group number one. Now you can help other people in a way in which you couldn't have helped them before. Your vibration is rising. Your frequency is is getting higher. So that means you are here to ascend to the next level. You are here as a part of the age of Aquarius to ascend. You know, rather than copping out, you're doing 
some hard, hard work. You know, we've had these incredible conjunctions with Saturn and Jupiter, this full moon that passed, this new moon coming up. There is, you know, we got out of eclipse season. Everything in astro as everything astrologically is preparing us to ascend. We're either going to do it or we're not. And if we don't, we're left behind. We're not going to be crossing this path hole, this threshold, this passage. We're not going to be initiated as a um, person into the age of Aquarius. So the best you can do is just get with it in the discomfort of it all and just rise above. We have Sapphire. Easy does it. And Sheroy, spiritual protection. These are two crystals that I would recommend working with during this time group number ones. If you can find them, Sapphire and Sherite. Easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. So yes, you're trying to ram your way through it or not at all. I feel like it's half and half for you guys. And what you need to do is just take it easy, you know, just take it easy because it's this this ramming. I'm seeing for a lot of you, you're also got this Taurus energy. You're ramming your way into either one. It's not working. Instead of having that faith, you're, tr faith, you're trying to force things to happen. And it's actually repelling these opportunities. So easy does it. And then we have spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So... Believe it or not, you guys, your guides have not abandoned you. They are here. They're still protecting you. They're still loving you. They're still taking care of you and making sure that you are good. And it might feel like, where the fuck are they? Because of all that has gone down. And, you know, I understand that energy a lot. But just know that you are being protected, you know. So if you are going to leap with this fool, if you are going to take that leap of faith, just understand that you will fly, okay? Also, for a lot of you, you have someone in your corner. And it's really beautiful, I feel like, your relationship. So be confident in that, in yourself. Because you guys are a warrior. You earned your Queen of Swords title. You know, I really do feel that. I feel like you guys are an absolute warrior. And you kind of gaining this queen of swords title is more encompassing to the fact that you have done that work and you have gone through these trials and tribulations and you've earned that title but you guys are a warrior and confidence is your key to success i really do feel like that is so okay so i'm gonna pull some moonology oracle a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo So giving to yourself right now, um, working on your healing, I know that seems like so not productive. You're like, how is slowing down and working on my healing and self-care going to help? Well, you've done enough as is. Your hard work is paying off. You've, you've put in so much work and you're not nurturing yourself. You're not mending yourself. You're not helping yourself feel better. And because you don't feel better, you're stagnating the energy in which manifestations should be coming in. So they're not. Um, so it's making things really difficult. And I feel like you guys are just kind of like, you know, like I mentioned, just a little closed off at the moment. So it's really important that you guys take care of yourself and do your healing. I know it doesn't seem like productive, but in your case it is. Now is the time to give to yourself. All right. So... Within the next few weeks, you can expect some opportunity to come in. A year from now, you won't even recognize your life. Your life will be so different. You won't even be in this situation ever again. We'll be in 2022 doing the same predictions on my channel. And you'll be here with me a year later. And you'll be like, you know what, Samantha James? Like, you told me and I listened. And here we are living our best life. So I definitely want to see that for a lot of you. Okay, I'm going to pull some Starseed Oracle. All right, we have vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. An observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. Okay, so all about sight right now. Understanding that you are in this matrix. I could go on about that forever. <laughs> Quite literally. 
um, and just talk about how this is a matrix. And if let's play hypothetical, you know, let's say it's a simulation. If it's a simulation, then why is anything personal and things can be decoded and you can trick the system and blah, 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 blah. But here's my little trick for the system. And it's just having faith, you know, understanding that you can have everything that you want. And that thinking, that mentality in which that little voice says you can't, that needs to go because that is not helping you claim your power and claim your matrix. You have abundance coming in as well. So that's something to look forward to. I believe this will be the thing that comes within the next few weeks. So when your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. I love this beautiful quote because, you know, right now in um, California, in America, the Mega Million Lottery, which is like, I don't know if you guys like outside of America have heard about the lottery and how ridiculous it is. It's at $510 million. <laughs> all I can think about is how many people can be helped how many people can be helped with that money so as much as you guys want to focus in on just what is happening in your small small world understand a couple things the first is this will pass okay you will get through this hard time understand that you have people in your corner group number one Understand that right now is a time to maybe give to yourself or give to others and focus in on what they need help with right now rather than yourself. And all of that will clear the channel for your abundance flow to come in for you. Another thing is I think you guys really need to think about what it is you want for your life. Maybe you didn't set up a vision board. Maybe the activity for, for your New Year's resolution, and it's not too late to do it, is to set up a little vision board. Like, what do you want for your life? What do you think you want? And if you're like, well, I already know, and that's what I've been wishing for, and it's not happening, and that's what we've been talking about this whole reading, well, why don't you write it down more specifically and put pictures to it and, and make it a cute little thing. If that's what your dream is, then it, it you should spend, you. it doesn't matter how much time you spend on it, it's just your dream. So let's get some self-care oracle and this will be for 2021, you guys. What is a good self-care tip? So we have look to the stars. So manifesting with astrology or even just how I mentioned astrology and how that affects you and affects your chart. You know, how did the great conjunction affect you? What is coming up in this new moon? Working on your energy, clearing out your chakras. For some of you, you have blockages in your chakras. Clearing that out, you know, making sure that you are in alignment. When you're in alignment, you can receive. All right, connecting with your ancestors and taking a walk. Some of you guys just need to get some fresh air. Take a walk and listen to music and think about some things observe nature absorb your consciousness observe the divine matrix of life create your vision connect with your ancestors some of you guys need to some of you guys need to reach out to your ancestors make an altar and dedication to them and just really you know figure out what it is they're trying to teach you where they're trying to guide you Okay, group number one, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I really appreciate you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. I will be going live at least twice a week. So if you want a reading from me, definitely make sure you join. I love you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all at your next reading. Hi, group number two. If you chose this howl light, welcome to your reading. Happy New Year. This is your 2021 prediction, and as per usual, I'm going to start with your tarot cards. So this is going to be a pretty lengthy reading, so I hope you guys are cozy right now and have your tea or your coffee or whatever it is you are drinking, and just sit back and relax. We'll try and get through this as painless as possible. Okay, so your group was so interesting when I was shuffling because to start, we have the unknown card. <laughs> and I know that this is the energy of a lot of you guys. You're sort of like, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe you don't cuss like I do, but you're definitely feeling this unknown energy. You're like what's happening where is this going what are my options 
all of it. And so you've come to this reading because you want to help, you know, yourself figure it out. What's really interesting about this card as well is that this is not a tarot card. This is not in the traditional tarot um, deck. This is just special and unique to this specific deck, the Crystal Visions deck I have linked down below. Um, and I love this card because she's holding a crystal ball. She's very close in energy to the high priestess, I would say. We have this beautiful purple candle burning in the background. We all know that purple candles are for spiritual insight and spirituality in your gifts. We have this sort of raven or crow. Um, and, you know, she's protected by a pentagon, so I also feel like she is a witch. But we just have moon energy here, high priestess energy, manifestation energy, magician energy, all of it. And it's very interesting because I feel like this is the energy of a lot of you. Like, you're not really sure what is to come, and I feel like you're sort of in the in-between right now. But you're just, you're really hoping for the best. Like, you really are working on the best towards the best you know some of you guys are manifesting good for you i feel like i put some manifesting i put some manifesting to the side but you know i was saying there is this huge similarity between you and group number one so you might be attracted to group number one and therefore there might be this like polarization that you have in your personality but there is a huge difference and the huge difference is that group number two you know in times of trouble i feel like you guys become stronger in your faith whereas group number one in times of trouble they've sort of put their faith to the side and spirit's advice to them is to bring it back so i feel like you guys are really clinging on to your candles and your rituals and your manifesting and your prayers and your dream journal and all of it and it is gonna give you a big payoff i feel like right now you're not really sure what is to come you're really going through a huge transformation right now with the tower in reverse and because that tower is in reverse I feel like this transformation is it's more mental and spiritual than like circumstantial um, another thing I feel like group number one was more pentacle energy more circumstantial and for you group number two I feel like your transformation is more mental and spiritual it's an awakening it's a part of your awakening um, and there is a huge transformation that needs to be had um, and I think that you guys are becoming more spiritual and more trustful in the divine and the universe. I think that you guys are also walking away from things that no longer serve you with this Eight of Cups. What's beautiful about the Eight of Cups is it's cups energy. You know, it's not without love. It's not without regret or sorrow. I don't think it's easy to walk away from whatever it is you're walking away from. But what's beautiful about it, what's transformational about it is you're walking towards something better, something else. And your spread, group number two, is fucking gorgeous. Now we have this wheel of fortune. So what are you walking towards? A complete transformation of your life. You might not know it because you've never experienced it. How could you know what's coming towards you, group number two? You've never experienced it. You've never seen it before, be it that it's eternal abundance. Maybe you grew up poor or you've always struggled and now you are manifesting yourself a different lifeline where you are abundant. You're breaking ancestral curses and ties and blockages within yourself doing that shadow work and that healing and you're just a completely new breed and therefore what attracts its way towards you is much different than what you are accustomed to group number two and I feel like it's unknown, you know, because it's unknown we just kind of um, view it as something that might be negative, like, oh, we don't know what it is up front, so it must be negative, and it's not. Um, this is very positive. This is just something that you just don't know what is coming for you, and all you can do is really use your third eye to observe this divine consciousness and to really try and do the best and make the best decisions possible. But I think one of the decisions that you guys decided to make, group number two, is to walk away from something that no longer served you. Now, it can't, sometimes it's not just one thing. I think it's so black and white to be like, you gotta walk away from that man. It's like, yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> and then every other man after him and why you choose that specific type and what about it is, you know, your drug. Or on top of that, you need to walk away from people that are hard to walk away from, that you can't necessarily walk away from, like family or friends and, and then habits and ideas. It's not just so linear, you know, as sometimes we portray it. 
but with this wheel of fortune you know it's the wheel of fortune <laughs> fortune it's moving into a more prosperous and abundant phase within your life so if you felt like you were dealt a bad hand or you were on the other side of a wheel and the other side was the jackpot and you didn't quite hit that that energy is going to transform we have judgment and this is believing in God's plan, believing in the divine, understanding that you are safe and that you are protected. And some, and I think a lot of you guys are looking for love with this Ace of Cups. You know, this could just be self-love that you're going to find for yourself. And that's why we are going to end with this beautiful Empress here. You're going to transition into this light being that is going to really emulate love and self-love and understand that you deserve it. And with the Ace of Cups, I do feel like there is love coming in for you. I feel like once you, you could flip this, like once you love yourself, that love will automatically come. But I feel like it's, it's better that it comes now and like maybe you guys feel like you have waited a while and I will have a separate video on 2021 love predictions. But maybe you feel like you've waited a while and now the whole thing is, is that it's almost better it came after your transformation because now you can attract what you really desire and I feel like what you desire needs to be on the same vibration and frequency as you guys. You know, they have to emulate just as much love be as just probably be just as spiritual and have that as well because if you were to attract what you wanted before maybe what you're in the middle of walking away from it wouldn't necessarily serve your highest good and your highest self so this is really beautiful and regardless of love it doesn't even have to be that um i just think that you guys are going to find a lot of love and appreciation for yourself so for your oracle you are already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives lapis lazuli life-changing epiphany or experience pyridote so group number two i would recommend these two crystals and working with these two crystals during your time of need right now just you know something that came and drew for you i think it's very specific to your energy with you're already doing it, you know, this is that beautiful unknown card along with the Magician, along with the Tower in Reverse, along with the Eight of Cups, along with Wheel of Fortune, along with Judgment, along with the Ace of Cups, along with Empress. Like this beautiful spread is just affirmation after affirmation that you are already doing it. You're already on the right path. And it might not seem like the right path because it's a little uncomfortable since you guys are transforming and there is a lot of unknowns and it is a little you know, it's not in your comfort zone. You're, you're doing things that are different. You're breaking habits and patterns and curses and all of it, like the spiritual self y'all are. And so just keep facing your true north, you know, stop overthinking the situation. Stop overthinking yourself and your spirituality. If you're doing things the right way or the wrong way, just keep just keep headed towards the light and what you are headed towards with this eight of cups you know not only are you walking away from something but you're walking towards something else and this beautiful unbound card releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives like I, I i heavily pick up on that energy here like you guys are really releasing maybe ancestral ties or curses um, you know, I kind of mentioned briefly, some of you guys might not be accustomed to being abundant. Maybe you, you've grown up in a lack mentality household, household. There's not enough to pay the bills. There's not enough this. There's not enough food. Like always just never anything is ever enough. And so you've been shaped that way and raised that way and you've become spiritual on your own independently from that. And now your spirituality is like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that anymore. You have to think positive. You have to think in an abundance mindset. So this eight of cups, like I said, it's complex. It's not simple. It's not linear. It's not black and white. It's cups energy. It's deep. There's depth here. This could, it doesn't have to be a person you're walking away from. This could be people. It could be a mentality. It could be a pattern, you know, and it takes work and it takes consciousness at all times. And I feel like you guys really are doing that. And that is some beautiful, tough work with lapis lazuli, which is an incredible, incredible crystal to work with. 
you know, you guys are not just, like I said, with the unknown, we always imply and anticipate that it must be negative because it's unknown, because it's out of reach and we can't see it up front. And that anticipation is a shame because honestly, what if the other 50% is that that unknown is just unknown because you've never experienced it before because it's positive. Maybe all you know is lack and negativity and experience and circumstance after experience and circumstance it just doesn't work and you are now raising your vibration within your own spiritual awakening changing the frequency of your lifeline quite literally changing your flow of abundance in this wheel of fortune card and headed towards a completely different phase in your life separate and um dependent from any of these contracts that you might have found yourself in whether your parents have them or your ancestors and <clears throat> it's unknown to live this way to live abundant to live comfortable to live at peace and harmony maybe you're used to everyone fighting around you and it's quiet you know and so this is life-changing for you. This is a life-changing epiphany or experience. It's time for a big blessed change and God is supporting you each step of the way. So this is big. This is blessed. This is not negative whatsoever. And you're going to learn that it's not negative and not to anticipate negativity like you have learned with this as being a part of your life lesson with Peridot. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So this, this information coming forward at group number two about patterns and breaking patterns. Why you? Because you're chosen. Because you're destined. This is a part of your destiny. That's why we have judgment here. That's why the 5D has intervened. That's why it's unknown. That's why it requires manifesting. That's why this is all mental and spiritual rather than physical and material and circumstantial because you. this is a part of your life path. You chose to be... You chose to do this and you might have, it could even be as deep as you chose your family to be that way so that you could change that pattern for them or their lineage or whatever it is you feel that you are leaving behind that you are here for. The reason that you're going through this is because it's a part of your destiny. So if you're questioning, you know, because things are weird and uncomfortable and they don't seem to fit in the right place. If you're questioning, if you're on the right path, you are most certainly on the right path group number two okay so i'm gonna pull some moonology oracle and i again i will have another video being posted and it will be specific to love so i know that i'm kind of hearing some of you guys already in like your mind like oh, i want to know about like this new love coming in this ace of cups like i really want to know i will have another video specific to that and it'll be a lengthy one with an extended for 18 plus version so definitely check that out but this one I think is just let's just dedicate a few moments to ourselves individually and spiritually let's just put aside all the you know escapism for a second because I was telling group number one like I love it I'm here for it tell me about the cock <laughs> tell me about everything tell me but like when it comes to the hard shadow work and healing that needs to be done in order to remove blockages in order to increase your flow of abundance it's like ugh <laughs> And that's why I'm trying to make this as painless as possible, but it's not even painful. You guys have done the hard part. You've already get, you've like already been through the pain and you know, now you're just wondering if it's going to pay off and it will have faith in your dreams, surrender to the divine, a win-win outcome is in forecast. <laughs> Gorgeous. You know, it, it's just saying like, if you're wondering what's going to happen on the other side of this. You can expect a win-win outcome. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to their plan. I know that you have this fourth. I know that so far, so good. Group number two. Um, but it's it's always a gentle reminder to have faith because sometimes we have this blind faith and it's so unknown and people don't really know that we have it and that we're going through it mentally and there's no one to really lean on and be like, look, like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm feeling like not believing. Wow. Trust came out. But it's always important to believe above anything. You know, that's where that faith comes from. 
And with Surrender to the Divine, it's gorgeous as well because it's saying that, you know, they, the Divine with Judgment recognizes your manifestations. They recognize your work here. They recognize your path. And they just want you to recognize them back, that they have a plan for you as well. And to surrender to that plan, I think maybe it's uncomfortable to surrender because we can't have control. We can't make the climate at our, you know, temp. We can't change the speed. We can't make it more accommodating for ourselves when we we don't have control, right? So we want to have that control because we want to make sure that every part of this is perfect for us. But that's not what this is. That's not what life is. Life is not perfect and beauty is not perfection. And it's necessary in order for you to learn some soul lessons to go through these things. Okay, so trust. Trust, trust, trust recovery for a lot of you some of you guys might have gotten sick um during this covid thing i did i got it a fucking year into it caught me when i was off guard like i was so vigilant for so long i don't even think i let let my guard down because i don't do anything or go anywhere but i just think that it's just out there and <laughs> i got it so maybe some of you guys are quite literally recovering quite literally it could be also just like mental we have within the next few weeks and within the next few months. So within the next few weeks to the next few months, you guys, group number two, a lot is in store for you. A lot is going to happen. A lot is going to transform. A lot of this unknown feeling is going to start to maybe reveal itself and not be as unknown. Let's see what your star seed oracle have to say. But that's really beautiful because that forward movement is soon. We have no limitations. You're a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. So this is probably a very necessary, I kind of, you know, mentioned this as like the star, is this is a very necessary part of your journey because maybe some of you guys are supposed to grow into be teachers or leaders or tarot card readers or whatever it is. And you're supposed to understand this perspective and transcend and you're supposed to be a little uncomfortable in order to gain this perspective and teach it to others and help them through their journey so transcendence transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine so i think this transcendence card actually goes back into play with releasing these negative patterns um you know transcending through your conscious mind and its limitations and allowing your soul's light to truly shine. I know that you guys don't fully believe yourself when you say you can't do something. Maybe you try to convince yourself you can't do something and you're not really buying it. Like you you would love to convince your conscious mind that you can't do something. But your subconscious and every other sign that points after that is like, nah, you can do it. And I, I think that to do it is uncomfortable and to not do it is more comfortable. And that's that control versus surrender. That's that fear versus um, faith. That's all of it. So also be patient. Allow destiny to unfold at its own pace, you know? <laughs> Instead of it just saying patience, have patience, it says allow destiny to unfold at its own pace surrender to the divine so some of you guys are not seeing your manifestations capitalize as fast as you want them to and you're throwing your your hands in the air like the fuck what's going on here do i believe in this fuck and <laughs> the divine is saying that this is a part of the process there is a process in fact like what seems like a um, take is taking a long time in our scope and our lens is actually not that bad. Within the next few weeks to the next few months, you guys, you can start to see some progress. So I'm gonna pull some self-care tip. This will be your self-care tip for 2021, you guys. What should you do for yourself to help yourself? Okay, we have connect with your wound. So some of you guys, might be neglecting your inner wound health for those of you who are divine feminines and some of you guys might be trying to place magic and one of the strongest magics forms in my opinion at least 
is connecting with your divine wound as a divine feminine using it and harnessing that sacral and solar plexus energy um you know i always say sex magic self-pleasure all of that should be incorporated into your routine so it might seem taboo or minuscule but it's actually being brought to the light here for you group number two in specific as a self-care tip so with that said connect with your wound on whatever level you think that is it could be as simple and small as a gynecology appointment it could be as simple and small as well not simple but getting off birth control because it's toxic it could be just telling your wound that you love it every day all day whatever giving your wound more positive affirmations anything like that we also have dance here which is interesting because i'm also getting like a sexual energy that needs to be had that you guys have been neglecting um with dance maybe that even connects to your wound in some way dancing erotically connects and frees your sacral and solar plexus so those are two chakras i also would look out for we have looked to the stars, so connect with astrology this year and, and really figure out how it affects you personally within your birth chart and how you can capitalize upon that. For example, I know that my moon is a Cancer, but my sun is a Gemini. Because of that Gemini adaptability and able to kind of get into everyone's skin and be whatever person that Gemini wants to be and mold into... Um, and then that Cancer moon, I'm affected by the daily moon. Every single phase of the moon I'm affected by. So I know that if the moon is in Pisces, I'm not getting anything done. Like I'm going to watch movies and probably cry. And this is not this is not full or new moon related. It's just daily moon related. But that's specific to my little Cancer moon Gemini sun duality here. So if I know that the moon is going to be in Aries, I'm going to make more videos in that day than I will any other day, just in case I fall back on a cancer moon, because I know I'm most productive during this, this and that. And that's how I connect to astrology personally and, and use it to my benefit. So that might be something that you guys want to look into this year. Maybe last year's astrology got your attention, but it was too overwhelming to do anything about it. And I kind of feel it. I feel like if you were just getting into astrology and you started paying attention last year, last year like hit the fan because of Age of Aquarius. So it was a little difficult, but I feel like this is a fresh new year and a fresh new slate. So that's something that you guys can do on the side just to kind of keep updated. Okay, group number two, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me here. Please hit the bell notification and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be going live at least twice a week, so you will get notified if you want to come in, ask a question. I would be glad to have you. In the meantime, I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you at your next reading. Hi, group number three. If you chose this clear quartz, this is for you. This is your 2021 prediction, you guys. What's happening in your life, career, money, all of it, what's happening. I know that there is a lot of confusion, a lot in the air. So I hope that you guys are cozy right now. You have something to drink, some tea, some coffee. Kick back and relax. This is going to be a lengthy tarot card reading and we're just going to get into it. We're going to talk about all of it. Now, please note that I will have another video coming out specific to love and love only and you will have the option to extend that one for an 18 plus version of that kind of thing so um this is going to be more centered on you yourself and just your life and your destiny so let's look into it let's start with your tarot cards okay so <clears throat> to start we have death so big themes of transformation for all three piles big big themes here now, I felt like your pile was very, very interesting. Group number three, we have the Ace of Wands here. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So a lot of you guys have been feeling trapped, feeling very stuck, maybe stuck in your ways, stuck in your patterns, stuck in a cycle, stuck in a relationship, stuck in your career path, stuck. Stuck energy is really what I am picking up on strongly here. And I see that being something that you're going to get over. I feel like a lot of you guys might feel like it's a permanent state of being. You just feel trapped and you feel kind of out of sorts. But you know what you want and you're just not sure how to get there. Now, the problem, group number three, for you is not about knowing what you want. For some of the other groups, it was like the unknown. Like they don't know what they want. 
for you, group number three, you guys know exactly what you want for yourself in your life. And you are not going to stop until you get it. But there was some sort of circumstantial issue where you were feeling very trapped and feeling like you couldn't get out of that trap, feeling like this was going to either quite literally kill you or end you in some sort of way, not even realizing that this ending was necessary for there to be a new beginning. Okay, so we have the six of wands, the star, the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands. So shout out to my Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Virgo caps out there. I love you. Shout out. Okay, so even my Aquariuses, hello, hi, with the star. Oof, and we have the queen of cups. So shout out to all of y'all, my Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. This energy doesn't necessarily have to even be broken down astrologically. The astrology portion of this is just to help you connect, but it doesn't necessarily matter because the point of you being represented as this is that you are so whole, so full, you don't even need another fifth or half or anything or anyone. You're so capable of getting through this on your own, by yourself, and achieving whatever it is that you desire by yourself on your own, group number three. So I see with the Ace of Wands, you guys are passionate about something. You're trying to head towards some sort of victory. Now, this could be within your career, your destiny, what you feel like you should do. I'm getting, I'm hearing singing and dancing for some of you who want to pursue art in some way. You want to achieve some sort of fame. I do see that happening for you with the star here. I feel like whatever it is you guys are trying to achieve, you are going to have to fight for it with the five of wands. Now, I it is a pretty clear path towards you achieving everything that you desire on yourself discovery and your personal journey but I do see that there will be some trials and tribulations like it's not going to be easy and I hope you're prepared for this ride for 2021 it is going to be very successful and you are going to reap a lot of benefits but it is not going to be easy by any means group number three and the reason why is because the victory will be that much sweeter on the other end and I something is telling me that some of y'all like the fight you guys like the chase you don't want to get your dreams that easily you kind of enjoy the journey and you should others of you are not sure if this is a part of your journey you're like am I supposed to struggle like this like hello I know what I want why can't I just get it and you're feeling trapped circumstantially or you even feel like you don't know where the new beginning begins and ends or where to start. And you might be going through a blue period. And the reason why you're even going through this at all is because you are supposed to be this leader. You are supposed to be this star. Your financial stability is supposed to be... It is supposed to be... Hmm. How do I say this? It's supposed to be triggered. You're supposed to be triggered into being financially stable, group number three. You're supposed to be like, oh, 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 okay, all right, all right, I got it, I got it. I can't count on and rely on anyone for this financial stability. I need this on my own. Your heart is supposed to go up in question because you are supposed to make sure you don't get hurt, but on top of it, love regardless of getting hurt you might be at the point and stage in your life right now group number three where you're like well i've gotten hurt and what i've learned from that is not to trust others no wrong 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 actually true spirituality is getting hurt and loving anyway loving anyway and that's the depth of the queen of cups she can do that she can be that she's wifey she's baby mama material she cares for things she has to that's her salvation and then the Queen of Wands, 
is you guys learning that you have to be confident, that you have to be fierce, you have to be willing to fight for whatever it is that you fucking want. And understand in all these three queen depictions that no one else is going to do that for you. You got to do that for yourself. You have to be all of these things for yourself. And like I said, you're going to have to fight with the five of wands. It's not going to be easy, but it, it, it will be fruitful. Because look at that. You'll have everything that you want. You'll have that sun energy. Maybe that's a baby, a family for some of you. Maybe that's a field of daisies and sunflowers and butterflies. Who fucking knows? But it's personal to you. It's what you want. Ace of Wands clarifying. It's, it's funny how I don't have enough room at the top because this is not like a real structured spread. This is not how you would structure something. But it just happens to align. The sun clarifying the Ace of Wands that this is what you do have in mind for yourself and you want to achieve this and you can okay so let's look at your oracle cards hi my babies hello hi ha ha hi thank you look what he gave me <laughs> it's a fucking whale how how is this his favorite toy all right thank you thank you so much okay <clears throat> the crumbling what are you clinging to Share your voice. Come out the cave, persecution, expression. So you're being triggered into the light. Maybe the darkness got a little too comfortable for you. Maybe you are down to fight and you don't mind. But now is your time to shine, really, group number three for 2021. You're supposed to take more photos of yourself. Be in front of the camera. Love yourself. Channel that confidence. Yes, Jackson agrees. Share your voice. Share your opinions. Enough observing. Enough building. It's time. You know what you want. Go after it. Get it. Come out the cave. You're birthing in a new age. We're in the age of Aquarius. And you've done the hard part. Jackson's up. You've done the hard part. You've done the work. And you've done the, the parts that were difficult. And now it's time for you to dream your new world into being. Now it's time for you to really believe that you can have it. We have clear quartz. Let yourself feel all your emotions and garnet. Purification and detoxification. Now that's beautiful because you are clear quartz group number three so this clear quartz is necessary these are two crystals i would recommend working with right now clear quartz and garnet let yourself feel all your emotions your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance now the beauty of this description is clear quartz is supposed to soak up the energy it's clear it's empty it's ready to soak now, you have this rainbow spectrum of emotion that needs to be felt. Things are hard right now, group number three. Allow them to be hard. Why are you clinging on to just the, the good part, just the happiness? Why aren't you enjoying every second of this journey, every phase of who you are, the queen of pentacles, the queen of cups, the queen of wands, the star? It's not a pretty journey, but it is something that you should revel in because this is what's going to make the reward that much sweeter. We have, I am cherished and I will fight. So I truly believe, yes, you guys will fight. You'll fight for what you want because you have this warrior spirit and this warrior blood. And for those of you, you know, you are in a relationship or you do have admirers and that's so separate from this reading, but you are cherished and you have admirers and people love you and they are rooting you on. And that's something that I think you need to hear. So that is something we'll get into in the love reading for 2021. But let's pull some moonology. Also, this new moon or just sort of this crescent moon makes me think of the new moon. And maybe the new moon is something that you can capitalize off of. We have worked through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. You are very close to achieving your goal, Dubious moon. 
and emotions are running high. So let yourself feel those emotions, you guys. Group number three, I feel like you're blocking out those emotions and spirit is really sending you clear messages of just letting yourself feel them, which is why working with clear quartz is gonna be interesting because it's gonna soak up that emotion, that negativity, whatever it is that's just not working for you. Pass it on, send it along to the universe, to your guides to help you with that. All right, so it's going to pull some more Oracle. Yes. Recovery. So yes to everything that I've been saying. <laughs> but also, like, importantly, there's a recovery that needs to be had. You guys need to work on that healing. And, and trust that that abundance flow is coming in for you. Oof. We have strength. You're being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. We have surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. Yeah, so surrender your need to control the outcome. Be with life. Enjoy every moment of this journey. Especially this year, 2021, one of the biggest advice to you is to just enjoy every part of it. Because there's a lot of success that will come for you. But there's also going to be times that are tough that you'll have to fight. You'll have to work through your fears and be in a part in a phase where it's not so comfortable. And yes, emotions will be running high. But the universe has your back, group number three, and they are guiding you. They're gently nudging you forward by revealing to you these signs and synchronicity. So pay attention to the signs. Okay, so I'm going to look into your self-care. This will be your self-care oracle and advice for 2021. So definitely work on planning for your abundance because you do have abundance coming in, but now it's the time to really sort through your bills and your finances. It's January. It's a new year. It's time to really get to the bottom. We have Mercury in... Aquarius I believe and we have Mars and Taurus so so now is the time to really focus in on your spending and your habits and just your overall financial stability I will have a line of manifestation journals coming out along with my manifestation candles so definitely stay tuned we have spend time with friends which is really really sad because it's been so hard to do that but maybe this year it will be a bit easier Spend time with your friends, maybe even go on Zoom and do a little tarot video. Maybe you guys all have a little date night and watch my live or something, get some questions read for you. Whatever it is, I just think it's just a beautiful little time to really connect with those that you love. Soak in a bath. I've been doing a lot of that just because I feel like I'm having an existential, ex existential crisis right now. Um, soaking in a bath is like such a great way of like calming down your nervous system, putting Espen salt in it and little like goodies and stuff. You can also do little goodies specific to manifesting, um, which I will eventually, but not soon, not right now. I will have little potion bottles for different types of spiritual baths you can take, which will be really fun and cool. I can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, soak in a bath and just kind of let your worries and stress go away for like a minute. Give yourself a minute and then we have positive affirmations. So maybe you guys are not cheering yourself on or you're your own worst enemy or you're a coach to yourself rather than a mentor. Maybe it's time to sort of switch up the voice inside your head and allow yourself to receive more love and positive affirmations from yourself. You're on the right path. You're doing great, sweetie. I love you guys. Group number three. Thank you so much for joining me here. Make sure you hit the bell notification and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to go live at least twice a week. So if you're interested in having a question read by me, make sure you subscribe so you get a notification as to when I go live. I love you. I appreciate you. Stay safe and stay